Guardian Holdings is now listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange and they didn't do it through an IPO. Welcome back guys, I'm Jamie. If you're new, please subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that we won't miss when I upload any of my new videos. You can also connect with me. I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram at J.A. Radcliffe or Twitter at J.A. Radcliffe 2030. Guardian Holdings is now listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. And this is not the first time. They were delisted from the Jamaica Stock Exchange about seven years ago because they were saying that the trading of their shares on the Jamaica market was very illiquid. And in all honesty, we can attest to that because it is in recent years that the Jamaica Stock Exchange has really gotten an influx of new investors. The listing was spearheaded by NCB and we all know why. NCB is majority shareholder for Guardian with about 60% of the ordinary shares. Patrick Hilton is also the chairman for Guardian. So we can see that NCB had some say in getting Guardian to list on the Jamaica market again. The company didn't do an IPO to list on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. What they did was to list via an introduction. Now, what this does is that they just pretty much put the shares on the market to have it regularly traded. There is no IPO process that needs to be followed. This is normally done with companies that are already listed on a different exchange somewhere else in the world. And as we all know, Guardian is listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. By Guardian listing in Jamaica, what is going to happen is that there is no new money raised. The shares will just be traded on the secondary market between different investors. So as I said, Guardian is listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. So we're going to expect that the price should be in line with its counterpart in Trinidad. Now, the Trinidad and Tobago dollar is roughly about 20 to 22 times stronger than the Jamaican dollars. That is why when Guardian listed, it was being sold in Trinidad for $25.51 and had a listing price in Jamaica of $582. This pretty much gives us an FX rate of roughly $22.80. We can be sure. Investors in Jamaica are glad that Guardian is back on the market because the share rose almost 50% in just 5 days. Guardian closed yesterday at $900 Jamaican dollars. Mark you, this is on low volume, so not a lot of shares have been traded. The maximum shares traded was about 3,700 shares traded for one day, and it was on the third day of listing. When I saw how the share was reacting in Jamaica, I was of the impression that investors in Trinidad right now smiling because with Guardian at 900 Jamaican dollars, if we were to transfer it over to Trinidad and Tobago dollars, it's roughly about $39 something. Using the same exchange rate of $22.80 that we had at first. But when I checked the website for the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange, the highest Guardian went was yesterday. It went to $30 Trinidadian dollars. Now, in order to get an effective exchange rate for that, we all know that 3 times 3 is 9, so 30 by 30 is 900. And we're not there yet as it relates to the whole FX rate between Jamaica and Trinidad. Looking at the financials for Guardian, we can see that Guardian is a very strong company. In 2020, Guardian ended the year with $774 million in profits in Trinidad and Tobago dollars because all of the financial statements for Guardian is expressed in TT dollars because this is where they're based. This increase actually showed an 11.8% increase over the previous year. And just remember guys, 2020 is a pandemic year. As an investor that is based in Jamaica, one of the things I like to do is to know how much Jamaican dollars I am going to be getting in anything I do. So, of course, you know, I had to transfer the $774 million into Jamaican dollars. And using the same rate, 22.8, I get over $17 billion in profit for one single year. That is how much money Guardian is raking in right now. Overall, Guardian actually saw a pullback in revenue. In 2019, they made about 6.48 billion TT dollars, while in 2020, they only made 5.93. So we have an overall pullback. What we can be sure of is that they're actually making synergies and savings everywhere to actually make a higher profit level this year. But as I say, you can't take the pullback for face value because capital reserves for Guardian grew from 3.9 billion to 4.6 in 2020 while shareholders' equity increased by 
18 and a half percent even when i drill up i noticed that guardian actually made 50 percent more income net income from insurance underwriting this could also have something to do with ncb actually moving their insurance portfolio over to guardian but maybe not because they actually moved the portfolio in the latter part of 2020 september to be exact guardian is also a company that likes to pay dividend they have paid dividend every year since 2016 and this dividend that they have been paying has been increasing now guardian didn't pay any dividends in 2020 because let's face it a lot of companies are keeping cash flow so that if anything adverse happens to their business they can actually react in time and have the money to make whatever moves are necessary because riding out the pandemic is one of the biggest priorities for any company right now for me though a comparable company in jamaica to guardian is sajikor and sajikor seems to be dominating in jamaica when it comes to the whole insurance scene but to be honest guardian is a larger company and i'm not just talking about sajikor jamaica i'm talking about sajikor overall in my opinion i might try to get some guardian shares it could possibly be the most expensive share that I own next to NCB. But at $900, no. I will wait until it falls off. Because I think that persons are just happy that it's back on the market or it's just this new thing on the market. So they are just happy to run the price up. Plus the shares on the TT market are not priced equal. With a year-to-date high of $30, as I said before, we're going to need an FX rate of $30 to even reach the Jamaican dollar price of $900 per share so i'm just going to keep waiting and see where it is that i can enter into guardian for the best price i might just wait until pension funds in jamaica decide to enter because right now i don't think any pension fund has entered guardian yet with a low value and we all know pension funds are big money so just give them a little bit of time so if they want to enter and probably just pull the price back a little bit because i don't think they're going to buy a 900 from a listing price of 582 just there. But thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up. And let me know if you bought or plan to buy some of these Guardian shares. If you already buy, you we'll know the price where you get it at. And what you expect the stock to do in the near future. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notification, alright? And remember, I am not a financial advisor. So, if you decide you're going to buy Guardian shares, make sure you talk to your financial advisor first. To see if it actually fit into your portfolio all right so until next week guys bye, -bye.